What's up you guys, today I'm going to be showing you from scratch how you can make a concept trailer using Pika Labs. So first we're going to start off with Mid Journey. I'm going to go over here, we'll do slash imagine, slash imagine a dystopian Star Wars world with Han Solo dressed in red plated armor 1970s anime style hyper realistic so this is going to give us something pretty different and what we're going to want to do is get a landscape little portrait there so we're going to copy dash dash ar 16 dash 9 to get the landscape I'm going to go ahead and copy this four times over so that we can get some images to be able to use for this. I'm going to go over to capcut.com and 11 labs and chat GPT. I'm going to go ahead and take this prompt that we just created, control C it. Go to ChatGPT and say, write a, a concept trailer narrative in Han Solo's tone using this excerpt. I'm going to go ahead and drop that. I'm going to pick out a voice that we want. The world is round. And the place, which may seem like the end, go may ahead. also be the beginning. Go ahead and use his voice. Delete all this previous text. I don't know why it saves the old text when I hop in here. Okay, so then we're going to go over to Mid Journey. We'll take all of our images. It's actually pretty sick. Take the ones that have the same similar kind of tone and color scheme. We want to make sure it's not cut off on the top so the animation will be a little bit more clean. And let's go ahead and grab this one and that one. Go ahead and save these images as PNG to downloads. Save image, save image. Oops, I think that one was the same one. Save image. Save image. Okay. Now that we got that, we're going to go over to Pika Labs. We'll do slash animate. And we'll go ahead and drop these in here. Animate to the second one. One, two, three, four, five. And six. And don't mind my girlfriend's picture up there. We were just playing around with that last night, trying to make her an animated character. We'll go ahead and let those render. We're gonna come over here. We will grab the narration. Okay, so I don't really, it, it gave a lot of descriptions of it, so I don't really like that. So let's do, write a story, a movie trailer story featuring let 
that generate. Gonna come over to CapCut, create new video. Going to do landscape. It keeps on. I think this is because I'm using the same um, same uh, script I was from earlier, where I told it to make a narrative and a visual description. So you could use those visual descriptions and the narrative in order to generate the images based on the story. So that's the better way to do it. Um, but I'm just going to do it this way for now. I think that's why I was separating it into those two, as it was storing the data from before. <laughs> so it's still doing it like that. Write a oh, write a story. Insert as the basis of the story. Okay, so now this is generating more so what I want. So go ahead and grab all of these. I'm going to drop that into 11 labs. Click generate, the voice we want. I'm going to go to mid journey, check these out. Go ahead and save that file. Check this one out. Got to save that one. Check this one out. Cool, cool, cool. And you can add into the prompt saying In a galaxy wind far, blow. far away. The one's vibrant stuff. You can say wind blowing, this happening, that happening, and you can change these prompts up uh, in order to kind of make it, you know, a little bit better. But these are actually doing pretty good right now. So I'm going to go ahead and save these ones. I'm going to go ahead and upload them right here. Okay, now it'll let me upload multiple at once. Go ahead and upload all these. Drag and drop these in here. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Six. I'm going to go ahead and download this generation of the voice. We'll go ahead and upload that. And then we'll drag and drop that in here. Bring it all the way over here. And then what we're going to want to do is go to captions and do auto captions, generate US. Give it some captions. Then we're going to go ahead and, and you can go into the captions and you can, uh, you can give it, you know, the black outline here if you want. But I think it looks fine with the one that it has now. Go ahead and grab some music and find some find some battle music. So we'll go ahead and add this one. Scroll it all the way over to the left. We'll take the sound of it and bring that volume way down and then let's hear what this sounds like in the galaxy <laughs> we'll bring down this volume a little bit too it's a little bit loud far far away Much once better. vibrant stars and planets had dimmed bring this music up a little bit their lights snuck perfect now let's go ahead and watch this in full screen and see what it's like 
in a galaxy far, far away. The once vibrant stars and planets had dimmed, their light snuffed out by the oppressive rule of a new dark order. I like that it went to the, the black screen. Spaceports, the lively cantinas, and the freedom of the open stars. All were memories of a bygone era. Han Solo, the legendary... Cool, I actually, like, shit. I actually want to <laughs> see more of this. ChatGPT is pretty good at telling stories. But yeah, cool. That's how you can make a concept trailer, how you could, you know, grow a YouTube channel. Obviously, this can be, uh, you know, extrapolated to a ton of different things. If you're going to do shorts on, you know, space education facts or whatever you wanted to make your YouTube videos on, you can use this combination of softwares in order to do any of that. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys want to see next time. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.